Hello, I'm Dylan. Learning from corrections is an iterative process. The robot starts with an estimate of the human's preferences and performs the optimal trajectory with respect to that estimate. For example, here the robot thinks that it should ignore both the laptop and table. The human end user actually wants the robot to avoid the laptop, but move across the table. The human therefore takes the robot's current trajectory and corrects it to better match their preferences. Within the state of the art, the robot learns the most likely human preferences by comparing the original and corrected trajectories. Here the human has intentionally corrected the ro robot to move directly over the table and as an unintended but unavoidable side effect, the robot also moves closer to the laptop. A robot learning the most likely human preferences incorrectly believes that it should interact with both the laptop and table, even though the human actually wants the robot to avoid this laptop. In reality, human corrections aren't perfect. They imply a probability distribution and reveal the true preferences with different levels of certainty. Our insight is that the robot should not only estimate the most likely preferences from corrections, but it should also recognize which estimates it is not confident about. So now, instead of learning to definitely interact with both the laptop and table, the robot realizes that the human has clearly corrected the table feature, but their laptop preferences remain unclear. A robot that includes uncertainty knows what it does not know, and can use this information when learning from human corrections. We make two main contributions to the fields of inverse reinforcement learning and human-robot interaction. First, we formulate online inverse reinforcement learning as a dynamical system and employ a Kalman filter to tractably obtain uncertainty without ever having to infer a complete belief over the two preferences. Second, we leverage this uncertainty when learning from human corrections both when the human is present with active learning and after the human leaves with risk-aware planning. I'll end this talk by focusing on the first contribution. During online inverse reinforcement learning, we model the human as having noisily constant preferences, theta star. These preferences form the hidden state which the robot wants to learn. In order to learn about theta star, the robot observes the feature counts along the human's corrected trajectory, xi h. Because human corrections aren't perfect, these observed feature counts aren't exactly what the human intended. Instead, they are noisily optimal with respect to the human's current preferences. If we assume that both the observation and process noise are unbiased and Gaussian, the optimal learning rule is a Kalman filter. This Kalman filter not only tells us the most likely human preferences, theta, but it also provides us with the, the uncertainty over this estimate, p. Of course, this method, sorry, <clears throat> this method works quite well when the human's corrections are in line with our noise assumptions. But how does our approach perform when the human's corrections don't match these underlying assumptions? Here we compare, one, robots that only learn the most likely human preferences, two, robots that use our Kalman filter approach to include uncertainty, and three, leveraging this Kalman filter approach with active learning. On the left, you see the preference error, which provides the difference between the true and learned human preferences. And on the right, we show the regret. In offline simulations, we found that leveraging and including uncertainty led to robots that outperform robots, which only learn the most likely human preferences, even in challenging cases where the human provided noisy corrections that were both biased and non-Gaussian. Feel free to stop by my poster, and I'd be happy to tell you more about why the robot should know what it does not know, and how we can leverage this information when learning from human corrections. Thank you. Thank you very much.